all three brands, BMW, Mini, and Motra, have delivered their highest ever sale in our history. Thank you for joining in at Car and Bike, and it is the best ever year in terms of sales for the BMW Group India. Talking about 2023, so Mini, BMW, as well as BMW Motrad, all best ever sales. Talking to us about it is, of course, Mr. Vikram Power, President and CEO at BMW Group India. Mr. Power, uh, the numbers are very encouraging for you, right? Good 20% growth approximately for you. Uh, expected lines or it's better than what you thought no, would I be? think it's pretty much what we expected we expected a trailblazing year I think when we started the year we said it's going to be you know tail of two halves or you know every quarter is going to be different and that's exactly what it felt uh, when we entered the year uh, you know every lap was increasing the momentum every lap we were hitting more milestones so uh, last quarter of quarter four mm. was the phenomenal quarter as we called it with 42 percent growth in our four wheeler business between BMW and Mini Finished the year with 14,172 cars, the best ever right. in our history. Phenomenal, and I think I think if you look at it, the entire new products that we have launched in 2023, all of them are fueling this growth right now for us. Right, I was looking at the numbers, and while you know when you were giving the presentation earlier, so maybe cars like the 3 Series and X1 unexpected lines, but after that comes the X7 at number 3 and even in electrics you have the iX which is a more premium model in terms of how much it is priced at. Does that surprise you, the kind of demand these cars are commanding? No, it doesn't surprise me. I think I think we always thought when we launched the iX maybe 18 months ago, hmm. you know, right here in our training center at that time as well. When we launched it, we were very clear that this is the right car for India. It's the right size from a family perspective. It has the right range. There's the right space. Right, everything is there, and the technology is the latest and sustainable as well. So, you know, selling 800, you know, almost 700 of those cars in a year is phenomenal. The best-selling electric luxury car in the country is an iX, which is about one crore, which mm -hmm. is phenomenal. But again, finally, it's all about the total cost of ownership for a customer. We Correct. remember that. Right. And it's not only the procurement cost, it's also the running cost and the maintenance cost. And I think the electric is providing that clear cost advantage to our customers. And what we are seeing is that people who have never considered premium before, they consider premium just because of the electrics. Right. iX1 is the classical example, which we launched at the end of uh, 2023. Great demand there as well, and again, that's actually increasing even the further penetration of X1. Right. You know, overall X1 has grown by almost uh, forty-four percent for us in this year. And how much is it contributing to the overall X1 sales? So, X, uh, so at the moment, it's, it was only last quarter, so really oh, small right. numbers small at the numbers, moment. Yeah. But I expect it to grow in twenty twenty-four right. further. Right. Uh, but clearly, the electric overall is now ten percent. Ten percent, yeah. Ten percent yeah. of overall sales. Uh, although we have five distinct products now, and mm -hmm. we increase the product lineup next year, so you'll see even more. Up so number one in EVs right now in the country? Absolutely, in number one with more than 50% market share in the luxury EV space. Uh, the most diverse portfolio that we have with five distinct electric cars in the industry. And I again say, I don't think any manufacturer in the country, be it premium or non-premium, is offering that distinct offer that BMW is offering in terms of electric. So really happy to uh, work towards the agenda of what the Indian government and Indian society wants to work towards this electrification of the fleet. We are happy to contribute to that. You said you're looking at 25% uh, contribution of EVs by 25. Uh, uh, what's, well, how, how do you plan to achieve that? What's the With, again, like? making sure that we always have the most diverse portfolio. Hmm. Availability gets better in 2024 and 25, of course, hmm. and then making sure that we're reaching out to more and more customers ensuring that there is charging infrastructure that has been provided as well. So we started that with our dealer network, you know, all the cities uh, across uh, across the country where we are present, there's fast DC chargers available for our customers and any customer who want to charge uh, the electric cars 24 hours a day. Uh, we've started working on destination charges now with our hotel partners, with all our corporate right. partners. So we're setting up a lot of destination charges over the next 12 months, and then we will see a lot of traction happening in that space with people being able to travel into city as well. Right, uh, talking about motorcycles now, again, a good growth when compared to 22. Uh, but, you know, a majority of that is coming from the 300cc motorcycles. Uh, beyond those motorcycles, are you happy with how the other bikes are doing? Do you want to see a better performance next year? Yes, I think overall motor oil business I'm really happy about. I mean, mm. it's still a young business. It's only six-year-old business for us, actually, since we took over in 2017. I remember doing the launch here in 2017 with right. the 310. Uh, so 310, you're right, is 88% of our sales, no doubt about it. Uh, but what's more important is the bikes above 500 cc, what yeah. we call it, the core bikes. They grew by 33% in 2023. Mm. So the first time we sold more than 1,000 core bikes okay. in the country. So that's very encouraging. So. You know, that is also growing 
That strategy is working perfectly. People come in, get into the riding culture with a smaller bike, and then migrate upwards. And I think with the launches we have planned for 2024, it's going to excite. I was coming to that. What do we look forward to from you in, in this year? Always excitement. With BMW, it's always joy and excitement. We're a dynamic brand, we're a performance brand. Oh. We'll continue doing that. So we'll launch between four wheelers and two wheelers, 19 more products. All right. And this is on back of launching 23 products in 2023. So, right. you know, there's going to be availability across the year for all these exciting products. And the action starts in January So, And we'll have a fair share of cars and motorcycles both in this yeah. thing. Normally, it's more cars than motorcycles, yeah. so as usual. So, hmm. there'll be 13 cars and six motorcycles in this framework. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank Sorry. you, Shams. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.